right. Hey guys. We're back at Panera Bread. Although somebody wasn't too happy about Panera Bread for some reason today. No, man. They they don't have enough servers. <laughs> All right. Slow. And who are you, sir? I am the bold one, the cold one, John Coldrice Lawson. What up? I'm Brent Leary. I still get a kick out of that. I know. I, I do. Yeah, I, I really think care. everybody does. You know, uh huh. It's my tribute to Walter Concrete. Uh, <laughs> I got it wrong. Cronkite. <laughs> I was just, I always you know, jack you, up you, my yeah, boy's see, name, just, man. Yeah. Okay. Big Walt. That's how we will refer to him from song. Really? Okay, so you okay. wanted to do this special edition watching Amazon. Bezos junk, Bezos junk. Yes. Yeah. So you wanna <laughs> you wanna take the lead on this one. Um yesterday, uh, a medium post appears on medium from Jeff Bezos and he's talking about in very deep very detail some junk <laughs> that's going on about his junk with the National Enquirer. And uh, it was really interesting because, I mean, the deal was how transparent he was really being. He was he um, was excruciatingly transparent. Well, actually he wasn't, he, they were. Well, they were, they were trying to get him. Yeah, and um, so he ended up posting some uh, emails that he got from high ups in the uh, National Enquirer to try to get him to tamper down uh, reporting that the Washington Post does and one of the things he did mention in the story was that people like to think you know and make him the enemy because he owns the Washington Post but for him that's he is really just doing a service by allowing the Washington Post to do what they do yeah and he, continue to do in terms of reporting and investigative journalism well, he referred to one of the reasons is that apparently he bought them and he referred to them as badasses. Right. You know, they don't take shorts. Right. Do people even still say take no shorts? That's like, am I just dating myself at that point? Well, I don't know, but we were talking about <laughs> the junk in the shorts oh, that no. were, it's like, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Good but anyway, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, that I, went I off the like, rails. I know, man. I'm, I've got a lot of I'm these. I'm glad that Let's you're continue. using <laughs> junk, because there's another <laughs> term people be using. Here. No, no, I won't do that. Not right now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, go ahead. No, I mean, it was it was a really detailed uh, post. It, it tied together a lot of different things too, like the whole way the Washington Post is covering the Saudi situation, right? Which is the big thing that they want. Removed. Yeah, yeah, and and how the Enquirer took exception to the way that the the Post has been covering it, and and that may have a role. And then of course there's this ongoing simmering beef. Actually, it's like a one-sided beef, but now maybe it's mm -hmm. two-sided now. That uh, goes back to, I guess, last couple of years with the president taking pot shots at Amazon and, and Bezos and first, you know, calling the, the Postal Service on them and, you know, doing all sorts of inferring that they are getting a raw deal and, you know, and, I, and apparently he definitely hates the way the coverage is from the Washington Post on the president. So Bezos was really, he didn't come out and specifically say all of this stuff is tied together but he he put all the breadcrumbs out there i would say yeah absolutely and i think also i mean when you read the the emails from the people at what ami yeah the lawyers right? that's what so the ami people are the the representatives for this uh, uh fake news <laughs> yeah i mean fake news yeah i mean i mean i get it when we talk about fake news national Enquirer is the first thing that ever comes to mind <laughs> Well, yeah. in print, there's something print, else that comes to absolutely. mind on, on on TV, on cable, yeah, yeah, yeah. on cable news. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, the thing is, um, what what in the story, or not in this? Well, in the story, he posts the emails, and the emails. What really stuck out was that he decided to post the emails unedited, and in that email, the first one, it was talking about pictures that they have of his junk. They have pictures of his girlfriend, kind of, and they got pictures, other pictures. But the description of the picture of his junk was really what made the the story have so much salacious. validity. Well, it's salacious, yeah. but it's like he, he could have 
done anything to edit that out. Yeah. And the fact that he didn't made me say, okay, well, now this must be some real stuff. Yeah, he's telling it. I mean, because, I mean, all you have to do is go to the Medium post and read it. It's yeah. all there. Just look up there. There were a medium. number of, of uh, pictures that were detailed in terms of the description. Of the picture. And there's plenty of, uh, there, I would say there were more of him that he yeah. knew out there. Yeah. In all sorts of different. Not, I mean, nothing all that bad. No, I mean, well, let's put it like I, this. Let's put it like this. I would say, not that I do any of that kind of stuff, but I mean, you hear a lot I of mean, people doing yeah, it. It's not like it's some crazy. It. Yeah, there's there's Look. people that look. I mean, you go on Facebook, and every there's people on Facebook, and they like take a picture of themselves every five minutes and post oh, it. Man, no, go on Instagram. <laughs> I mean, junk is junk is junk is junk. Anthony Weiner's like, why, why, yeah, yeah, why did I get so, yeah, why y'all come down on me? So what's bad? the big deal? But one of the things he did say, and I want to read this real quick. He says, I don't want personal photos published, but I also won't participate in their well-known practice of blackmail, political failures, political antics, and corruption. I prefer to stand up, roll this log over, and see what crawls out. Oh. Dude, yeah. he became a superhero for me on that one. Well, that really is awesome. What seems to happen because of the way he put it, and he said, look, you know, if I can't stand up to it, being who I am, right. and he's not saying that as a to brag, he's just saying... As the richest man in the world. The richest man in the world. And if he didn't stand up for it, who would? Who could? Yeah, who could yeah. or who would? So I think... Yeah, some of the details, you know, when it first came out about him and his wife getting divorced, whatever, and, you know, the reasons why, you know, there's a lot of a lot of people talking about that. But I think what he's done with this this particular post and and laying it out the way he did, you, I think you're seeing Just a lot more people being much more positive about it now than probably was before he released this note. Dude. And, I mean, the publicity. Now, let's talk about it from a watching Amazon perspective. All right, because he is the leader of a public company. Uh, yeah. Right. As he put it, between the first or fifth biggest market cap company in the world. Right. So, yeah. And, and I mean, his company is ubiquitous. I mean, well, of course, we don't get through a day without talking right. about him. But it's not just us. I mean. No. We're shopping on Amazon, you're going to Whole Foods, you're playing some sort of video or playing some music. Will this affect the stock? No. I don't think so. No, I, not actually, negatively. probably yes. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. Yeah. If it does anything, it makes it go up. Yeah, it, uh, I don't see any downside. I don't that. either. I mean, I really see leadership, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, you know, and let's face it, when you are the richest man in the world, mm -hmm. What you got to be afraid of? Well, I mean, there's a lot of things to be afraid of. I mean, of, but you haven't gone out and killed or murdered lot. somebody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you took some pictures. A lot of people do that. I think, Somehow they got to. I think, you know, just get, well, I know, you know, I can tell you how they got to. But I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> but anyway, there are some rumors right now out. And that's rumors, nothing substantiated, that it might have been a foreign entity that got those pictures and gave it to the National Enquirer. WikiLeaks. We love WikiLeaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it could be Putin. And we love Putin, too. Oh, Vlad. Vlad. Mm. <laughs> Vlad. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm more than anything, if that is the case, that'll make it an even bigger case. But, yeah, uh, yeah I, don't, I don't see it having uh, real deep implications on, even if they put the, 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 the killer thing now, is if they publish the pictures, he's already kind of diffused any, oh, yeah. you know, drama around the pictures. I mean, now that they're, he put the details of what the pictures were about, I don't, right. I don't think there's even that big pinup need to want to see it. Right. I, I know mean, I don't want to see it. Well, I mean, uh, really, I think several of the pictures talk about him tweeting his girlfriend. Yeah. Or, or, but with it, his wedding ring on. Did well, you get that? With yeah. your, with your holding the phone in your right hand and your wedding ring is showing. And I was like, yeah, like dude, they're getting pictures, divorced. Well, these pictures weren't meant 
for public consumption. So uh, I don't think so he was, well, let me take my ring off so I could take this picture from my girlfriend who nobody else is going to see this picture. Yeah, I mean, you know, that, yeah, they made a big deal out of that, which is really stupid. It was. It was stupid. But, you know, I, I think because the big, I think maybe the biggest impact uh, this may have is probably going to be more on the National Enquirer side. Yeah. As opposed to on Bezos, Amazon. So. Yeah, I think so too, man. I, I, it was just, but it was just crazy. That yesterday was nuts oh, yeah. to see that. It well, I'm like, just, wow. wa- I'm just wondering, waiting, where the tweet is going to come from. Well, there will be a tweet at some point. You know, he's going to have he's to get his little say in there. there somewhere. Yeah, it's just really ridiculous. This is what it's come to with the president. I know. I wouldn't. I couldn't even see Obama ever. He's going to be tweeting about, about some, a junk pick. A junk it's guy. coming, folks. Well, he mm-hmm. talked about a junk. Well, anyway, his hands aren't that small, kind of thing. For his, that's how he got here. It's like whatever. Yeah, I and unfortunately, that, that's how we got here. That's how we got here. That's ridiculous. All right, so that was the special <laughs> junk pick edition of uh, watching Amazon. <laughs> Never to be done again, folks. <laughs> we hope not. We hope not. And this is your boy John. Hey, make sure you go to the watchingamazon.com like our page, share this post immediately so other people can see the junk we're talking about. (laughs) And on that note, folks, I bid you good night and good luck.